If you're wondering about the future of tech, just look up. At the Consumer Electronics Show, some new concepts take everyday transportation to new heights. KCAL 9's Tom Waite has more from Las Vegas. Here at CES, it probably won't surprise you that high tech is going up in the sky. This, they say, is the future of transportation. Imagine soaring above your hometown in an Uber. The rideshare company is hoping this Hyundai concept becomes a reality. Tech blogger and YouTuber Justin Eatzer says it's a future that may be closer than you think. So right now this helicopter is set to take flight with four passengers and one pilot, but they're saying that they ultimately want this to be autonomous, so no pilot. Hyundai also featured on the ground autonomous driving concepts like this vehicle. Smaller companies showcase their autonomous tech as well. A company called ZF says someday your ride might look like this. So right back here, ZF is showing how they're going to implement different airbags in the roof and on the side of the car that will help keep the passengers safe. And of course, there's plenty of small tech. Safety and senior care is a big theme here this year. This watch can detect if an aging relative is in danger. These sensors placed around the home connect with the watch and will alert if sensors detect big changes in a daily routine. It alerts the caregivers and it lets them know and they can go check on them. It helps like prevent anything else from happening. It really does help those caregivers. I have a 97 year old grandpa. He lives on his own. This would be something that we would really like to have. And it's not a tech convention without robots. They evolve more and more each year. There's AI AI dogs and AI gadgets that can teach your kids. This is Roybe. It's a little robot for children to learn languages and STEM, and it has more than 500 stories for your kid. The bottom line the innovators here want people to be inspired and to understand that with tech, anything is possible. At CES in Las Vegas, Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.